Look at this. So this, believe it or not, is a lizard. This is a giant legless skink. Have a look at this. Uh, these guys generally come out at night. They almost always live in termite mounds where they feed on any number of things, but just have a look at that. Looks like a snake, isn't a snake. It's a, a skink and a legless skink at that, virtually blind. I don't want to touch it. They have, it will get disturbed and they have an alarming, they look alarmed when they do get alarmed. A heavy, robust animal. Just have a look at that. So, poses no damage, no, no threat to me whatsoever. It hasn't got any fangs with which to inject me with any nasty poisons. And can't bite you or I either, but just have a look at the face. You'll see why it's a skink now when you have a look at that face. Eyes underdeveloped and that's because it spends most of its time in tunnels in the dark just one of those animals that is just you read about it you know about it you hardly ever see it we probably see these giant legless skinks um, how many times a year maybe two or three times a year in deep summer like this now the reason why I'm able to move it with a stick but I'm not touching it with my hands is because it's quite common for this animal to go over sticks and for those to be blowing in the wind and as long as I don't touch him with my hand and he knows that it's, he's being grabbed, he'll carry on acting normally or she'll carry on acting normally and give us a chance to share some of its day. Quite a disturbing looking animal, I must be honest with you. It's not, the, it's not the most comfortable thing. That big shoe you're seeing there is Brian's size 47. <laughs> and although comfortable now with it, when you first see these guys, the last thing you want is for it to be climbing up and down on your shoe, or in actual fact on your hand. Let's get him out here again. Just into the open, you saw that spade-like tunneling. Look at that, see it pushing its nose into the sand? That's what it does inside termite mounds. Isn't that just the best thing you've ever seen? Quite a powerful looking animal. I'm sure it could probably overcome, I mean, I could, I I'm, I'm not sure exactly what they eat, but they definitely live in termite mounds and underground. I'm almost sure they eat termites and ants, probably a bunch of invertebrates. Being the size that it is now, it's gonna be able to overpower a lot of different things. That hard snout. Just really. Now, the difference between this and a snake would be that this has an eye with an eyelid. The snakes don't have eyelids. Snakes also have fangs with venom glands. These skinks don't have that. Um, it will also have vestigial legs and while not uncommon uh, amongst the pythons and the anacondas, definitely very common amongst the skinks and then also underneath its belly, you'll see that the scales on its belly and on its, on its ventral, on its dorsal side are very similar to one another. S snakes have different scales on their bottom and their top the dorsal and their ventral side. There we go, you just caught a glimpse underneath there. Um, other than that, their diets will be slightly different. Um, but generally speaking, something with a sharp lizard-like face like this and its eyes with its eyelids are what is distinguishing it from a snake. This is the last time I'm gonna pick it up. I think after this, we'll let it carry on with its day. Giving us a nice, look at it. 
something that you quite often see from a vehicle but like I said quite often is two or three times a year that's about that and have a look at the size of it so here's my hand next to it for a size comparison so easily about two feet in length and quite thick you can see my thumb there is about half the diameter of this particular animal at the moment have a look there very glossy and that's because it needs to move underground and so it needs less okay less resistance now you notice I didn't snatch my hand away and that's because I don't want to disturb disturb this uh, this animal if I had jerked my hand away there's a good chance that I would have disturbed it So Christine, you've asked me how does, the, how does the skink react if it's alarmed. What will happen is they start to do this like bunch of jerky movements and will really look quite panicked. And um, they, the reason why I don't pick these guys up and look at them with the hands and haven't done for many years is because the first time I ever did it, it's exactly what happened is that it literally looked like it was the most panicked animal on the planet and was going to die right now and I don't like doing that to animals I don't enjoy changing the way that they behave just so that we can have a decent look in this particular case it's carrying on with its day having given us enough time to look at it we're not leaving it in the open so that it gets snatched up by a bird of prey, a snake eagle for instance, martial eagle, even something like a tawny eagle will snatch up this thing in a blink of an eye. So we're letting it carry on back to some cover and the hope is that it goes into a harvester termite or a macrotermes termite uh, gallery and then lives inside there and basically carries on with its day.